WAGM's Matt's Fantasy Football Minute. I don't know if I can take this anymore. I'm serious. We live in a world where Ryan Fitzpatrick is leading the NFL in passing yards. A guy named Matt Breida is leading the NFL in rushing. Andy Reid is the, at the head of the most dynamic offense in the league. Tom Brady threw for less than 150 yards last week. I'm expecting to wake up tomorrow and just hoping it's all just a bad fantasy football nightmare. But no, this is reality. This is what we have to deal with when we look up and down our rosters and try to, do, to predict who's going to baffle us next. I've got four players who may just do that. The most underappreciated man in football, not this week. I got your back, Case. The Denver signal caller hasn't thrown a touchdown since week one, and that would make normal fantasy owners a bit nervous. Not me. The weapons he has on offense, Demarius Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, and Rookley Cortland Sutton are due for breakout weeks, and they are playing the perfect team to do so. The Kansas City, no thanks, don't want to play any defense Chiefs. KC is undefeated, yes, but they're giving up 362 yards per game in the air and nearly three touchdowns. And on to running back, the waiver wire is like the rib truck at Martin's parking lot at noon. It's picked clean, but a guy who may not be on people's radars and could be a sneaky pickup is Carryon Johnson. I was one of the guys who looked at him taking up a spot on my bench and almost dropped him, but I didn't. I hung on, and now after his 100-yard performance, he looks primed to be the go-to guy in Detroit. The rookie out of Auburn can catch. He's got 10 grabs on 12 targets, and he can run. He's averaging nearly six yards per carry. Put that together, and you have a back who can produce for you in fantasy. On wide receiver, if you watched Hard Knocks last year, this dude stood out, and now he's doing it on Sundays. Godwin, Chris Godwin's targets have steadily increased 4 to 6 to 10 last week, and he's managed to score a touchdown every week. As long as the Tampa air assault keeps rolling, Godwin is a guy to have and is worthy of a flex start. Folks, I really thought I had it last week. Jesse James, I thought he could do it. Break me out of my tight end funk. Monday night, I got my popcorn ready and was like, Matt, you did it this week. You called a good tight end, and then Vance McDonald stiff-armed my hopes and dreams into oblivion. Did you see it? Okay, here it is. He's the first down, Vance McDonald, and he keeps his wow. footing. Can he get there? 75-yard touchdown. Chris Conti, I feel your pain. This week, though, pick up Rhett Ellison of the Giants. Engram is hurt, and the G-Men are playing the Saints. Shootout equals points. Book it. And that's all for this week's edition of Matt's Fantasy Football Minute. And that's all from the sports desk. I'm Matt St. Jean. Have a great day.